exports in 104 uh, countries, has over 170 customers uh, worldwide. Um, and within our market portfolio management, uh, we grow and we intend to penetrate additional markets in the forthcoming years, that including uh, Latin American countries, Far East, and also reinforce uh, one of our strong, strongest territorial areas, uh, namely uh, MENA countries, Middle East and North Africa. This was basically driven by the founder of Remedica, Mr. Chris Patihis, uh, who passed away. And uh, he was um, uh, very well known about his entrepreneurial acumen. And uh, he was feeling always too big to stay on the disciples. So this extrovert approach um, was basically uh, due to him. So from, uh, from the very humble beginnings in 1960, he was uh, dealing with international trade. Uh, and also he, he followed that after diversification of his companies uh, when he decided to, um, to deal with the pharmaceuticals. So uh, all the people after him followed this extrovert approach besides uh, the foundations of Remedica are so strong to change uh, this extrovert approach, but rather uh, reinforce it, which is the case uh, today. The triangle of success uh, of Remedica was, has always been um, the affordability of prices, not only of the raw materials that it buys to produce the final goods, but also in, in terms of, of the buyer, of the consumer. So uh, we have always been believed that in affordability of prices, security of supply, uh, not in terms of in what we buy, but in terms of what we sell as well. And um, last but not least, sustainability. Uh, we have always been uh, following a, a business model in a sustainable way. Uh, and we've never looked into um, short-term wins but always in, uh, in long-term wins. This uh, has proved to be the case, not only with our customers, but also with our suppliers as well. And this is one of the main reasons why um, our stakes uh, always uh, prefer Remedica uh, for a long-term uh, partnership. I want to create an empowering working place that it will attract, retain, and develop talents. Uh, talent management uh, is something that is very, very important in the pharmaceutical industry, in the pharmaceutical sector, because talents are those who are going to give you the competitive advantage. Remedica is a leading manufacturing industry, pharmaceutical manufacturing industry, and uh, needs to stay there and uh, grow even more. And without talent management, uh, this will be quite difficult. Uh, as someone said, uh, smart people hire smarter people than them, not to tell them what to do. So uh, it's something that I want to create uh, here at Hermedic as well, to bring in uh, those brains, those talents that not only will uh, create, not only that uh, they will innovate, but they will drive change. The biggest asset of Remedica is its people. So um, whatever we do, uh, it's collective. Uh, nobody gets a credit. It's a collective work, a collective approach, and a collective reward. All those awards that Remedica got in the recent years uh, basically reflect, and it's the epitome, I would say, of the people's zeal, discipline, passion, and commitment towards this organization, uh, namely Remedica. And this has always been the case since the foundation of this company. And again, I want to say that this was, uh, this culture has been embedded uh, and has been founded and embedded to its people by the founder of Remedica. And we just continue and follow that. To create a, a successful R&D environment, 
is not only to create an R&D, but it's a um, compilation of things, it's a combination of things. Remedica is an A to Z company, it's a manufacturer, so it's a holistic approach. It's not that the R&D alone uh, works towards the creativity or innovation of the company. Innovation and creativity is everywhere in Atromedica, it's not only the R&D. And besides innovation, uh, by definition, touches a product, a service, and a procedure. So Remedica is full of innovation, either in operations, in procedures, in the service that it provides towards its customer, namely the logistics, but also the product itself. And um, having said that, and in more particular, the product itself, there we take smart and wise de decisions and we look into which therapeutic categories uh, are aligned with the international trends. And there we see what kind of products we have. And if uh, it's the case where we need to enrich a therapeutic category with additional products because they abide to the criteria that we have here internally, meaning they fulfill certain commercial and technical uh, aspects, then we give them green light to develop a new product. This country needs three strategic pillars to achieve that. First of all, number one, I would say is culture. We need to change the culture. And the way to change the culture and focus the people towards creativity and innovation, you need to begin and touch upon the educational system. The second are the facilities, the systems. What kind of policy making systems do we have? And what kind of actions okay, and practices do we have that foster and facilitate creativity and innovation? And this again touches all the elements, horizontally and vertically. The third one, which is very, very important, is access to skills. As this is a pan-European problem, not only a problem in Cyprus, we need, as a first step, to bring in, to buy in, to in license, if I may name it like that, skills. And put people around those who have the skills to also get the skills, and then slowly, slowly make a community of skillful personnel. Corporate tax is only one element that, of course, all of us look into, but it's not the only one. Ascendis, uh, Eremetica was attractive to Ascendis for many other reasons. First of all, because they uh, assessed and evaluated that Remedica could, could fit uh, in their business model and for expansion, but also for, um, for their current uh, operations. Um, but because Ascendis wants and it's, uh, and it's, uh, it's key to be internationalized, uh, to have synergistic growth, organic growth, okay, and enrich its, its existing um, uh, market and product portfolio. Remedica saw Ascendis as an attractive strategic partner for the same reasons, because we saw that Ascendis was a group of companies in line with our vision, business model, and mission. It fulfilled all those criteria in respect to um, how we operate, how we do business, uh, our ideas and uh, uh, willingness to expand further, uh, to diversify, to enrich our product portfolio and our market portfolio. So one fits the other. So uh, we found the common denominator, both of us, and we proceed with the acquisition. I think the, the message is huge. Not only because Cyprus is a very small uh, country, uh, 
but I have to confess that uh, the acquisition was extremely smooth. Everybody was surprised. And that proved that Cyprus has very good procedures and a regulatory environment that facilitates and fosters uh, investments. In addition, it gave a big message to other investors that maybe they have plans to invest in Cyprus, uh, that companies in Cyprus, like Remedica, who has been acquired uh, a year and a half ago, uh, are robust, irrespective of the size of the country they operate. And um, we have a lot of benefits as a country for foreign investors. Corporate tax is one, but also the effective tax rate uh, on innovation, where 80% uh, of tax is deducted and the effective tax rate is only 2.5% which is extremely low for any foreign investor. As many say, if you are greedy, one day you will get it back. Well, we think the other way around. We feel that we should never be greedy and give back to the society. Because if you have a cohesive society, it's gonna be reflected on you at the later stage. So it's a mutual, I would say, um, approach. You give and you get. You get and you give. Remedica is amongst the founders of the CSR Cyprus and we are very proud uh, about this policy, about this giving back to the society. For many, many years we donate free pharmaceutical products around the globe because we always follow the slogan we want to create a wealth through health so if you don't give back you don't take care of people if you don't alleviate suffer then you do not have a place within the industry which is called pharmaceutical industry so because we want to stay here forever in the pharmaceutical industry. We serve the scope, which is to alleviate uh, suffer. Remedica is not only about uh, manufacturing pharmaceutical products. Remedica has a great impact on society. Not, not only on the economic society, but also on the social society. And what we try to do here is to reshape, to try to have a, need, a footprint on the uh, Cyprus economy. So through various deliberations, proposals, uh, presence to the various fora and the various decision-making boards, we try uh, to have our footprint in a way to help and facilitate the government in its restructuring uh, actions and activities. I think we play a big role in this regard and uh, we are happy that we are uh, listened and many of our proposals are adopted. And I think it's, this is quite natural uh, to be the case because uh, we are the strongest export uh, arsenal of this country and um, we welcome the fact that um, the current government and the current governmental policies um, are aligned with this extrovert and internationalization um, uh, approach that we already have for many, many decades now. So we feel uh, aligned and in common frequencies after a long time, I would say, with the government. And this is, um, I would say, um, a positive uh, thing for us.
and we believe that this will be further enforced in the future uh, in order to uh, to help towards a common goal above all uh, to grow the Cyprus economy and if the Cyprus economy grows we grow everybody grows <laughs>